Good afternoon from the CBS 19 newsroom. I'm Jillian Sheridan. And I'm Mike Landis. East Texas law enforcement beginning to use body cameras. Each patrol deputy with the Cherokee County Sheriff's Department now has a ProVision body cam to re record interactions with the public. Tyler PD also getting body cameras for its officers in the new year. A Tyler home damaged in a fire this afternoon. Firefighters on scene at 2816 Staley. No injuries reported at this time. The Tyler Fire Marshal's Office is looking into a cause. Kill Gore police identify the man shot to death just after dark last night. Investigators saying 36-year-old Francesa Jackson knew the man who came to his door, lured him outside, and then shot him. Today, family and friends gathered at the home on Rogers Street. Despite evidence at the scene, they believe that killing was random. Police have investigated three shootings outside East Texas nightclubs in just the past six weeks. Tonight, they're warning partygoers in advance of New Year's Eve. Police suggest those planning to celebrate at local clubs Wednesday night do a little research ahead of time on crime stats. If you're driving in South Tyler around Troop Highway, you may want to take a look at another route today because the water department has to shut down Troop Highway at Shiloh all day for work. As of right now, city representatives say the work should wrap up by the end of the day. All that plus freezing weather on the way once again. Find out when. It's all coming up tonight on CBS 19 News at 5, 6, and 10. And remember, you can visit CBS19.tv anytime for the very latest online.